hi everyone very good evening and welcome back to geeks for geeks practice uh, please give me a plus one in the chat guys if my voice is clearly audible to everyone and everything is working fine and also make sure to hit the like button then i'll share my screen to discuss the problem of the day for yesterday that was maximum triplet product uh, which was also asked in vmware so just uh, give me a plus one guys hi rishit and hi all of the other people as well guys uh, please give me a plus one if everything is working fine and then we will start with the video as well. So today's problem is very easy. I think that is why the attendance is pretty low as well. Okay. So basically in this problem, what they are saying is they will give you an array. Okay. In this problem, what will happen is hi Arnav, hi Pushpain to Das as well. So basically in this problem, we will be given an array that will be consisting of the integer elements. And what we need to do is we need to choose three elements. Okay. We need to choose three elements from the array such that the products, uh, product of all the three elements that we have chosen, let's say A into B into C, is the maximum possible. Is that clear to everyone? Please tell me, guys. Basically, what you have to do is you'll be given this particular array, okay? From this array, you have to choose three elements, okay? And you have to choose three elements in such a way that the product of the three elements is the maximum possible product that you can attain from this array. Is that clear? Push Pendu is clear. What about Rishit? What about other people? If others are also clear, so please make sure to hit the like button as well, guys, okay? Then we'll proceed further as well. Okay, I think some people have uh, liked it again and it became unlike. I'm not sure. So basically, uh, there are you have to choose three elements from this array such that the product of the three elements that you choose should be the maximum possible. Okay. Now in this case, what could be one of the cases? Like let's say if I have some array. Okay. Let's say if I have if I have any array. Let's say let's take for example let's take this array. So if you take this particular, like if you take this particular array, one, two, three, and five, okay. So let me take this array. Uh, this array is what one comma. Uh, let's say three, two, and five. Let's say okay. So what I can do is I can basically sort the array. Okay, whatever array I'll be given, I can basically do what I can sort the given array. When I will sort the array, then what will happen? The new array will be what the new sorted array would look something like this. The new sorted array would be one, uh, two, three, and five. So if I sort it in ascending order, then the last three elements would be what the major, uh, the maximum elements. Okay. So in that case, what I can do is I can multiply the last three elements. Okay. The maximum product, one of the candidates for being the product, the maximum product is what if the array, if the complete array is positive, right? Then in that case, I can say that that the maximum product will be what a of n minus uh, a of n minus uh, three. Okay. Into a of n minus two, into a of n minus one. Agree with me or not, guys? Basically, the last three elements of the array in in the sorted order, the last three elements of the array will make the maximum product. Are you clear with this point, guys? Please write yes in the chat. Is this point clear? If yes, then please hit the like button as well. Okay. Please hit the like button if you are clear with this particular point, guys. Is this point clear? Basically, one of the ways for doing this could be that I can simply do what? I can simply choose the, uh, in the sorted array, I can choose the uh, last, last three elements. Okay. I can basically choose the last three elements of the array. But what will happen? Let's take this example and see what will happen. Uh, let me just quickly copy this example for all of us. Okay. Just let me copy this and then I will show this one to you as well. Okay. So if I talk about this particular example, so let me quickly copy this. Okay. So this is the particular example. If I have minus three, okay. Then I have minus five. Then I have one. Okay. Then I have zero then I have eight, then I have three, and then I have minus two. Okay. If this is the given example that we are having. So in this case, if I will sort this particular given array, no? so let me sort it. Uh, so this would be minus two, minus five, minus three, then we'll have minus two, minus five, minus three, then we'll have minus two, then we'll have zero, one, three, and then eight. Okay. The, this uh, will be the sorted order. Now, if I multiply the last three elements, okay. So if uh, like if this is the new array A that I have sorted in the end, okay. So in that case, uh, if this is the sorted array that we are having, so let me erase the unsorted array from here. So in that case, if I take the product of the last uh, last three elements, so that would be what? That would be nothing but twenty four. Agree with me? The product of the last uh, last few elements, uh, last three elements would be what? It would be nothing but uh, twenty four. Okay, please write 24 in the chat and give me a plus one if you are clear with this particular point. Also, guys, uh, a lot of you are watching, so please hit the like button if you have understood till now, right? So that the uh, so that uh, most uh, it can reach as many people as possible. Are you getting the, the points till now, guys? I hope that the voice is clearly audible. Okay, it okay. won't have. If one wouldn't, if one wouldn't have been there, yeah. So basically, basically, in this case, what I could have done is like, see, 
if the array is also having negative elements now so see in this case what i could have done is i could have chosen these two elements okay like basically if i take minus 5 like see if i am having negative elements right but they are higher in magnitude right if this guy is there then this guy is there so these guys will be what like if you will see so if i do minus 5 into minus 3 Okay, so that will come out to be what? That will come out, like see, if I multiply the last three elements, so the so the last three elements product will be, here in this case, it will be negative, right? Into minus two if I do, so it will be negative. But uh, even if it was positive, then it will be not as large. Agree with me? So I can try to do what? Like these elements can be negative, but their magnitude, okay? Their magnitude, magnitude can be very high. So in that case, what I can do is if I multiply two negative elements, then their product will be positive, right? So I can do minus five into minus three, into what into let's say two uh, into eight uh, okay so basically the last two elements okay the last two like basically the first two elements of the array you can say from the starting the first two elements and i take the last element as well then this product will be what this will be uh what i think this will be nothing but 15 and 15 into 8 will be nothing but 120 is that clear please write 120 in the chat hi shreya i'm uh, looking at you at after a long time uh, but i'm not sure you are from which college because you have been following my streams from a long time. So can you tell from which college you are uh, or which year you are from? Shreya. Okay. So basically, uh, if you will see here, so this is the main thing that I was uh, telling that in this case, what we can do is we can choose the last two elements. Okay. Like basically we can choose the last two elements and then we can choose one element from here. Now, like, let me take one better example. Let, let us say that in this case, what we had was instead of having a negative element as the third element of the array, we had something like this. Let's say if you will think that, okay, let's say we had some element like, uh, let's say this was uh, one, then this was two and this was three or something like that. Okay. So in this case, you might think that, okay, let's take the last three elements. Like as we were taking the first three elements. So we might like, we might end up taking the last three also. Okay, that is another thing that might uh, come to your mind. Let's say if I take one, one, one here for a better example. Okay, so you might also you might also uh, think that okay, let's let's do one thing. Let's take the last three elements. But that is not the case because if you will see, you are multiplying minus five into minus three into one. Okay, if you take the uh, if you take this element also, if you take this third element also. So instead of that, instead of choosing this guy, whether it is positive or negative, you can always choose the last guy because you take the last two elements, whether they are negative or positive, if they are negative, so you take the last two. So the, so their product will be positive and then you multiply it with a very high value. That is why you multiply it with a third value. So that is why what I need to say here is the conclusion, the conclusion part is that there are two kinds of products that you can have, right? So won't be maximum. Yeah. So P1 would be what? P1 would be nothing, but uh, I can say that P1 would be array of uh, like the last uh, product one that I can have is the last three elements from the array. Okay. So this will be what? ARR of uh, N minus two into ARR of uh, N minus one. That is the last, uh, last few elements. Okay. If you are clear till this point. So please hit the like button guys and then I'll pro and then I'll obviously proceed further. Are you getting this much point guys? Yes or no? Just quickly let me know. I can I cannot see the likes increasing so you can uh, hit the like button if you have understood till now. Okay. Then after that the second way of having the product is what? That I can simply say that I can have the first uh, two elements. Right, ARR of 0 into ARR of 1. Okay. Basically, if they are negative, okay, then I can multiply it with what? The last element, the largest element. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, also I can get the maximum product. So, these are the two ways. And obviously, in the end, I would return what? I will return nothing but the maximum of the product 1 opportunity and the product 2. So, both the ways, maximum of out of these two. But the array isn't sorted. So, I will sort the array, obviously. Right. So, I will sort the array. Okay and uh, just give me a second let me do this so what i will do is i will do error comma error plus n okay and uh, then what i will do is i have the long long product p1 will be what uh, p1 will be nothing but arr of uh, n minus 3 into arr of n minus 2 into arr of n minus 1 okay this will be the product and the long, long product two will be what? ARR of uh, zero, okay, into ARR of one, uh, into ARR of n minus one. That is the last element, okay. And in this case, I can do what? I can simply return the maximum of the two. So I can simply return R T U R N uh, maximum of the product one comma product. So this is what I, how I can do it, okay. Just give me a second and let's see if this works or not. Yeah, so it does work. Let's submit it as well. 
so you can see it gets accepted as well now let me do one thing let me provide you the code for this particular problem as well okay mm, i'll generate the link is this point clear yeah we have uh, i have used the sorting approach i know that you can do it more optimally but if i am going to tell you that approach so the video will be very long so that is why i will be not discussing that approach okay otherwise the video will be very long and in the long term the views are not there for that okay so okay youtube doesn't support okay what is happening here mm. comments on private videos private videos okay i think the link is not getting shared for some reason what is that reason uh i'm not very sure why we are not able to share the link youtube doesn't support comment on private videos why this video is not private actually code okay i don't know there is some issue so maybe the team will fix it but uh, no worries is this approach clear to everyone i hope that this approach was clear it was asked in vmware okay so this was it for today's problem of the day everyone and uh, make sure to try this problem on your own as well and obviously you can try it the more optimal approach as well but if i like go to explain it it will take uh, more than 45 minutes which is something that i don't want okay so thanks a lot for joining for today's live session till then good night and take care uh, keep coding guys happy coding everyone thank you